finally, yes, you can see it is Commander Class Kingdom War for Cybertron Rodimus Prime. Yes, I just so stoked. <laughs> I, I am just super happy to have him, and um, I guess everybody knows by now that I'm a big Rodimus fan, so I am just super duper stoked right now and this is it we are going to review this figure today you can see him uh, using the matrix of leadership you got the whole the whole effect part going on he's standing on his platform and we're gonna take a look more at this awesome awesome figure in a bit so let's remove the matrix from his hand and let's just bring Roddy into the picture right here and let's we're going to talk more about the the trailer in a bit but this is him this is Rodimus Prime right there look at that just amazing just an amazing looking figure uh, honestly I was one of the very few people that was on the fence of getting this figure um, I really thought that I might not like it because of the design or the we'll talk more about the face sculpt in a bit but I, I just bit the bullet and I, I gave in I caved <laughs> and now I have him and I'm telling you right now ladies and gentlemen is that um, seeing him in a picture or on a picture and or seeing him on a on a video review like this is something that you really have to experience yourself I mean go ahead and you know don't take the word of the person that's that's doing the review give him a feel but uh, take points and take notes of the reviews that you've been seeing so far and I'm just gonna really put my two cents into it you you probably seen a lot of other videos out there of Rodimus Prime of this figure but as a Rodimus Prime fan I would definitely just share my idea so that's that's him and he came along with this really fantastic looking box so really nice looking box right there awesome art it is a big box so this is a this is a commander class so the whole class has got me confused that's one of the things that really put me on defense when I was thinking of getting this figure because he was labeled as commander class and so far we know that the commander class would be uh, Skylinks and Jetfire, but Rodimus is not really that big. So we'll delve into more detail as why they probably made him Commander Class. But right now, let's just take a look and admire this figure. First off, the color just pops that vibrant red, orange, and yellow. It's just amazing the black looks fantastic on the legs and uh, you got this really nice vibrant looking silver yellow this is orange right here that it, it looks a little yellow to me like golden orange but it is just really looking looking great now it came along with a lot of different stuff and one of the things that you saw earlier in the video was this so you have the matrix of leadership and you have an effect part but honestly i think the effect part that fits right here would be the effect part that came with the with this one with the hot rod figure the ss86 hot rod which we're going to feature in a bit too so that's one and we can we can put that here inside his chest and he becomes the bearer of 
the matrix of leadership so that is pretty much it for that he comes along with an ender well i would say that this is a sword or matrix sword um you know whatever they want to call this kind of sword but uh i don't really remember him having a sword in rodimus prime state i know hot rod had a sword so i'll probably give this to hot rod but he can wield the sword like so you can place it on his hands and you know the amount of articulation on this fella is just just, just extremely posable like the posability of this is just you know, they, they just knocked it out of the park Hasbro did a real number on this and of course he has his iconic blaster or his ion cannon now the thing that they did here was it folds like that which, I, which honestly I'm not a big fan because uh, if you remember if you remember clearly um, Hot Rod had two guns and if you think about it the two guns merged as he became uh, Rodimus Prime and it became his ion blaster if I could just really find those blasters right now here it is so these are the blasters from SS86 Hot Rod and if you really think about it if you combine them like that that's pretty much the ion blaster of Rodimus so it's, it's very almost very reminiscent so it's, it's that so he comes along with us so we, could, we could give it to him put him put that there and there you have him so you have him in his battle pose action pose um, the whole set came with effect parts although I'm yeah I'm probably one of those people that are not really big on effect parts I mean a lot of people love the effect effect parts and you got that plus this and down in the background we have we'll talk more about this later so you can see that there are two more effect parts right here which are mounted on his uh cannons so there so pretty much a lot of accessories for for a small not really a small figure but he is labeled as commander class but i really think that he is more of a voyager class level kind of big but yeah articulation wise he is great so you can rotate that and mind you that there is this the whole spoiler this yellow part right here so you can rotate the whole thing it's just that that's going to be on in, a, in the way and then you can have the shoulders bend almost this way and that you can have it this way really full of posability right there this can move too like that the he the head very articulate head right there has the waist swivel the thigh swivel you can definitely bend it it's double jointed so you can even do like those superhero poses that everybody loved doing the ankle tilts ankle rockers whatever you want to call them whatever you want to use your terminology on that so he is really posable uh, let's get rid of the weaponry let's get rid of that and let's highlight his other really nice features so the hands would have like sort of fingers and that's very cool so you have the index finger it can point can can bend like that and can even do the the whole Omni-Man meme so think <laughs> like that like think Springer think 
<laughs> you could do the whole Omni Man. I'm sorry, I just love watching Invincible. So anyway, so really nice looking hands right here. Very poseable, almost MP-ish, I would say. Um, but you know, I, I don't really collect a, a lot of MPs. So I'm, I'm not really the guy to talk about MPs. <laughs> but very poseable. We saw it earlier, we gave that glimpse, very nice feature that exposes the matrix. We, we do see that they chose the path of having the section fall down from the chest and exposing the matrix, although there were several times in the um, cartoon, especially at the last part of the return of Optimus Prime, where Optimus Prime actually opened the chest this way, like a closet door, and there are definitely times that uh, just Rodimus opened it at one side when he was short-circuiting himself. So it, it was it's really crazy what they did with the animation. But they I guess they went with that route where they opened the chest downwards. Oops. So he's falling. <laughs> he's falling. Um, he does stand. You know, I'm just fidgeting around with him that much. But he stands really well. Um, this is, I guess, one of the gripes that I have, and this is something that we will take a look at early, later, I'm sorry. Um, uh, my friend, Xavier, hey, Xavier, he's now in Canada, hello, so, there you go, so, he mentioned that the face sculpt, which I, I didn't really see at the get-go, um, he did mention that the face sculpt, this is actually the POTP face sculpt, and a lot of people just really don't recognize it because of the ton of silver. And the silver is very reflective, making him have that very old looking look. So, yeah, I mean, that was one of my gripes, and definitely one of the things that put me on the fence of whether I'm getting him or not. But honestly, if you don't have the light shine right now i got a lot of light and you look at him directly he doesn't really look that old looking he doesn't really look that bad now we're going to do a very quick size comparison a side by side and age comparison between rodimus prime and his younger self hot rod so you can definitely see that the gray if you paint the face gray or at least i would say what do you call this white off white dirty white i don't know but it makes the face a lot younger and i think that was a lapse on hasbro and they made rodimus look extra mature which i'm not not really happy about that I mean, I know that when you have the Matrix of Leadership, you become wise and it gives you maturity. Well, some sort of maturity because definitely there's still a lot of hot rod in this fellow. And we've seen that in a lot of episodes like The Burden Hardest to Bear, uh, where uh, Rodimus had that that phase where he was getting pressured with the, with the responsibilities of leadership. So they made him look a ton older. But if you take a look at this fella, this fella looks a lot younger and the gray helps. So if you paint this gray, which I'll probably ask one of my buddies to help me out on. Honestly, my painting skills are not really, you know, they, they need help right now. Especially that I haven't been doing any uh, crafts like Gundams or Zoids. Which I think I need to get back to because I need to get my painting skills sharpened. So I'm going to ask one of my pals to help me out with this. Probably Bojo. Hey Bojo. Yeah. To help me out with the face. But there. So very good comparison. So you can see how big Rodimus is versus Hot Rod. Similarities. What's going to happen if you take the, <laughs> the Matrix? It's going to make you big but old. Look at that. More detailed on the back versus this there you go but both are definitely definitely a must have my, one of my favorite hot rods definitely one of my favorite rod of his primes 
Um, so we're gonna put him aside. We're gonna talk more about him later. So we, we're pretty much okay with the hot rod. I mean, the Rodimus figure. Let's jump to one of the reasons I think I think they made him Commander class was giving him a very big trailer. Okay, so the trailer is composed of several sections. So this section right here is like a platform. Um, you can close this section and it becomes like a little hatch where you can put some, I guess some MicroMasters in there. And then you have this very interesting thing. So we all know that Prime uh, had a roller. So I guess this is his take on roller. So what he has is like this really nice looking battle track tank like platform which sits like that and then you have these effect parts which I'm going to take away so I like the paint there's like usage of it so it's like burned out you can have him hold it like this you have these you have these uh, control panels right there and you have this pull down peg so you can place it in any of these you know, so you have a lot of holes in there so you can place that battle platform wherever you want like that or, well it's not fitting here but it's usually placed here there you go so there so you can you can have it around uh, you also have this little doodad so it's a ramp so you can technically have uh, another transformer get in there um, I don't have anything handy right at the moment but what you could do is like I have some micromasters you can you can put them there there you go really cool there you go. so that that's pretty much it um, I, I see a lot of people who place it here and I'm, I'm not sure who came up with this and whoever came up with this uh, giving you the kudos and, and they're putting it there so it's kind of like pointing out and they would put the effect parts there it's like a mountain cat mount, mounted cannon system for Rodimus's trailer mode. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Uh, another thing is that there is this section. It's like a drawer, <laughs> and then the thing is that you could put these effect parts. So by the way, it came with these. It, it looks like they're smoke, and I'm not a big fan of this, so I'm just gonna put it there. I really don't like that. Um, so yeah, you could put the effect parts inside so you won't lose the kibble that comes along with it. But this is a pretty hefty and big trailer. So uh, I'm going to try to put it in proper trailer mode. So I'm going to just flip this here. There you go. So By the way, there's a, there's a stand so you could have the trailer. Uh, it, it can, there you go, oh, sh sorry, I'm going to pause, okay, <laughs> so the, the new camera stand really is, I mean it's steady, but the, the section where it pulls the camera sometimes just falls off, so I was talking about this, you can pull this little section right here, and uh, you can have him stand like that, but let's put him here, There you go, and you can then close the whole thing. Sorry, you gotta put this first because there's like a groove right there, and then it would slide into that section, and voila. Now, a lot of people would have that problem of not having this whole section flush. Uh, I think it's a very common issue. 
I'm, I'm not really there you go so it does it does close but it's not the end of the world if I can't have it flush so there you go that's the trailer and one thing I like about it, it has a really complex set of wheels unlike uh, another trailer that we're going to talk about later which is the POTP it only had the back wheels so it, it couldn't really stand alone like this but right now it just stands alone there we go another cool thing about this is that I'm gonna I'm gonna take away all of the effect parts right now honestly just take them away not a big <laughs> I mean to each his own again if that if you love those that's cool you could, you could put the micromasters out there and the cool thing about this is that it has the same locking system as the trailer for Optimus Prime or if you have the micromaster combiner I mean not really combiner what do you call this uh, cities like this one so I got one so you can you can have them go there Go. So it is a, it's a fun, it's a fun thing, you know. It's it's an added playability factor, and I just really love it because you could, you could have that right there. It's just really great. So there, I'm gonna disconnect this. And we're gonna get rid of the micros. Just stay there, micromasters. Put all the micromasters to the side. Okay, so we've talked much about the features. Uh, let's transform Rodimus Prime into his trailer mode. So technically, all you gotta do, since this is already transformed as it is, that's that's your trailer right there, folks that's pretty much what you're gonna get uh, this is the thing that cost a lot but we're gonna talk about transforming this guy in a bit all right folks so let's get started and let's transform commander class Rodimus Prime now the first thing I'd really like to do is start down here at the bottom with the feet I don't know because this is the part that I was very surprised with. Now with all the amazing things and features and cartoon like you know representation of this figure one of the drawbacks would be definitely the way to transform him and I'm not really a big fan because it's scary it feels like you're going to you're going to break it so if you take a look down here, what we did was we folded the toes like that. And then from the back, you would see that there is this two, there's a two hinge section and you have to unflap that. So it's covering it like that. So you have to just flip it open like so. And honestly, that's not a very cool thing because it is scary. So what you want to do is just apply force and flip this section, which I really hate. I don't know who designed this, but whoever you are, you are a genius because it's prone to breakage. Now, the next thing is that you want to flip or not really flip but pull this section up like that a lot of people are focusing on this part but you can just really pull the wheel up and it's not going to do anything let's go to this section which is again another doozy so try to apply force here pry it and then just pull it which feels like it's going to break I hate it I just totally hate it Pull the section up and you're done 
for this bit you're pretty much okay because the rest would be really just fine um, and I then move on with the with the arms so what I do is I am I just really go here and just try to find where that is there so just try to try to open that section and that's gonna unflap that it's gonna, it's not locking anymore so you just can bring that whole section right here and then flip it up and then what you want to do is just really rotate that so it's gonna look like this and then just do the same thing here and flip this rotate that flip it put it like that in that order and then just bring it home like so right and just make sure that everything is lightly tucked with the fingers and you have this section so if you face it forward like that it's going to look like it's covering the fist so like what I said you're all most good the next thing you want to do is just take this piece and just put it down there um, this is clear plastic so it was also kind of scary unmoving like removing that because even though they placed this section this is clear plastic it's it's thick but you know how clear plastic is clear plastic has it is very prone to breakage so what you want to do now is once you have that unlocked take this section right here there is a black part right there that connects to the gray part so it just pegs right in and then you can pull it all up like that same goes with this side and then pull it all up like that and then you kind of like have a V thingy okay and then just push this all here you can extend that right there which is also scary because the first time I did that, I thought that I, it snapped in two. So now you have this. Just bring this whole section right here and rotate it. So this section is facing forward. Now what you want to do here is just rotate this head like so. And then just bring it all here. So it covers that, this section covers the face. And then you have these, which is, which is also annoying, these flaps, because they, they, they can be removed so easily. So what you want to do now is that you see those holes right there? You just peg these in like that. You can hear the snap. Do the same thing with the other. Just peg that in. We'll hear a snap. There you go. And there are some pegs right there. Pegs right there that would fit into the holes on the arms. Like so. And you're almost good. So what you want to do next is bring this whole thing here. Sorry. No, I was I was thinking of I was thinking of the uh, hot rod so you don't have to rotate it. So all you have to do now is bring these to assembly like so. Wait up. I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I may be correct. You have to still rotate that. Yep, you still have to do so. It is very similar to the hot rod transformation so you still have to bring this right here and then connect that right there so this is double jointed so all you have to do is just really bring this whole section and then what you could do is you could slide this piece right 
here and then this would lock so you have that and then bring this right back so you can hide the toes same goes with this fold it in before you fold it in you have to squeeze that in there all the way there we go and then just bring this whole assembly just double jointed there you go and then you lock it in place there you go and there you have it all you have to do now is align it align these and like that so it's now flush and you're down to the last part you bring this here and then you flip these panels to lock them in place there you go now the thing with this is that in robot mode I totally forgot about it but there was this design where it stops the wheels from spinning you have to un it's going to open it's going to split the wheels which is i really don't know what was the purpose of that and then you can then clip it back in and then it rolls so yeah, i did that already with this side which is just really takes the life out of me i, I did not know that that was something that you had to do which Again, I think the whole thing that they made is this commander class is because a lot of fancy transformation sequence. And I'm just really trying to align everything. There you go. Making sure that everything is aligned. I don't know why this section is not flush. I don't know why this, this section is not flushed. But technically that's what you have right there. Okay, so before we can bind this to, because this, this is technically just the cab. Let's do a quick comparison. So this is the cab of the POTP. Rodinus, it's a little dusty. And this is SS86 Hot Rod, which is also, I don't know why it's not flush right now. And we have Power of the, oh no, Titans Returns Hot Rod. So if we take a look at that. get rid of these so they, they look small compared definitely to the kingdom commander class Rodimus and they all look more like a hot rod and just to add something to the mix, let's put MFT right there. There we go. So they, they all look like hot rods from this point. But if you remember, there were times in the series that Rodimus would literally disconnect from the trailer. And this would be the cab for that. So, there were definitely different, a, a big difference between the Rodimus cab mode and the hot rod car mode. This one is bigger and chunkier. There you go. Versus these, which is more sleek and flat. So, very big difference. So we're going to take all these beautiful hot rods 
and put them to the side. And let's go here. So what you want to do is there's like that locking mechanism and then you just really slide it and then you hear it click and you're good that's it now initially i thought when i first saw this is that there would be like a turning function but i was wrong so there's no you can't turn it left turn it right you know it's not going to swivel it rolls great there you go you can't open the cockpit or the canopy this one right here you can't do that but the functions are still there so it would still be cool if you had that so truck mode or trailer mode as you would call it there you go pretty cool really like it again if you have another deluxe class figure you can definitely fit one there I, I'm guessing it could be cliff jumper because cliff, cliff jumper is a pretty small fig but he is a hefty figure you can bring him around and it's not gonna fall off there you go. Really solid. A little shaky. Um, love the flame paint. And there you have it. And that problem again with not locking is there. So I'll try to check out the fix. I know there's some fix for that, and I definitely did something wrong with the transformation here because. It's not sitting flush. But anywho, we are going to take a pause and have our final say on this. Transforming back to robot mode and bring some other comparisons. Okay, so we are back. And uh, what we're looking at right now is a comparison with most of the Hot Rod and Rodimus figures that came out recently. So what we have first would be the Titan's Return. And the reason why we're featuring this is because we want to take a look at that face. Now most of these and the rest of the other figures that we will check out, their face are all painted with gray or dark, a, dark, a light version of gray. And it really brings out the face. So that that's one. And this is Power of the Primes. And this is supposed to be a Rodimus figure. And if we take a look at that, you can see that this is also covered in light gray paint or almost white. And he doesn't look that old. He looks mature, mature and he looks okay. Now, this is one of the most recent hot rods and this is SS86 hot rod and I gave him the sword just because in the movie he was using that to battle that practice robot and he looks better with the sword and this one looks great too with that gray face he looks very young and let's go back to our to the star of the show so we saw the transformation, we saw the features. I really think focusing now on the aesthetics of it, they could have really gone a different route with the paint used on the face. So it could have been a lot more younger looking. Now we're going to have another quick change because uh, inside this would be, let's try to focus on that would be the face sculpt that's based on the Rodimus figure. So we're going to check that out and we're going to transform him into the bigger version, the Rodimus Prime version. Okay, so we're back and we have finally Power of the Prime's Rodimus transformed into his super mode. And if we take a look at that, 
we'll get an idea of how the face looks like with gray paint or white paint and you can see that it looks really the same this is just a bigger version of this face so if we take a look at this now they are pretty much using the same sculpt it's just that this is smaller and darker because of the silver paint versus this is more wider and lighter in color and gives you that less mature feel so if people are like me at the start of looking at that figure this figure and saying that yeah he looks too old for me I mean he definitely won't look great in my collection I'm saying that he is pretty much the same as this and all you have to do is just maybe spend a little time uh, and painting him and exerting a little effort holy smackers <laughs> it fell okay I don't know why maybe it's because he's a little flimsy because I haven't transformed him in a while there you go he's just really falling apart ladies and gentlemen but anyway, so that's him, and let's, let's put this guy down at the back, and let's put these guys too. Um, we're going to show another Rodimus, very old. Now they, again, these people took the liberty of designing an artistic version. See, it's so dusty, it's so old. Let me grab something. wipe the dust right there sorry about that so this is an old fans project Rodimus upgrade and this was the Rodimus Prime that we had back then and back then we were so happy with it but now just look at how we've or like the scene has accomplished or what companies like Hasbro has accomplished to meet the needs of the the fans so this was fans project and it was really a great take on Rodimus but this is really more cartoon accurate so this thing would still be in my collection I still like that Rodimus one of my very first Rodimus toys there we go that there and of course we are not going to forget about the bearer of the matrix the one that passed the leadership Optimus Prime how does he scale well with Rodimus and he scales really well so I thought that Optimus would be bigger or this would be taller but this is a good scale reminds me of that uh, episode uh, double convoy in the Japanese headmasters so this is a very awesome scale so let's put Optimus here in the background okay now let's get the rest of Rodimus's buddies How does he scale with Ultra Magnus? And Ultra Magnus is still towering Rodimus Prime, which is supposed to be the case. Because in the cartoons, uh, Magnus was really big. Let's place him together with his buddy Springer. There you go. Springer, my friend. <laughs> Remember that episode? <laughs> that was crazy. Rodimus tried killing himself, and then he said that my day, I mean, my time in the light is short, and that was the same thing that Prime mentioned. And he was about to pass the Matrix to this guy. <laughs> and Springer said, "Oh no, you ain't passing the Matrix to me, pal." 
I don't want to get those old lines on my face. Let's put uh, Princess Leia. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's put RC right there. And uh, let's put our fast talking cup. I mean, cup. <laughs> blur. <laughs> I was looking for cup, but I picked up blur. So sorry about that. There we go. Now, as you notice, I'm using the LG EX Blur. I do not like the chin on the SS86, but I'm getting that really soon. I'm probably going to review it. Same goes with Cup. I'm going to be using the Titans Return Cup because I don't have the SS86 yet. Plus, I kind of like this cup. Of course, we're going to put the annoying little dweeb <laughs> wheelie there you go holy mackerel wheelie almost domino effect the whole crew there you go and put on there and the king of bozos and put him there well he's not a bozo he's a king so there so you have a pretty good, darn good scale for the 86 crew, and I am just, I'm just super happy about it. And there you go. Look at that 86 crew. They look fantastic. So, final words on this. I really think that... Hasbro knocked out of the park the whole Rodimus Prime figure. Very great figure. Pluses definitely would be the size, the paint, the articulation, the added bonuses like the, the what do you call this, the, the big trailer and everything. Um, Minus points on this guy, definitely the face, definitely the transformation, which is totally not fun and scary. Um, other than that, just the price point, I guess. So let's talk about the price. Now, I live here in the Philippines, and this thing is at around 5,000 pesos. 5,000 pesos is a very hefty chunk of dough for a small figure like this but if you really think about it if you are getting something like a Takara brand back in the day would be a, like an exclusive it would be dropping around that price too so overall just really think about it as you get uh, like you got something like a Japanese exclusive or something from Takara and that won't really be a problem with the price and I thought about that and my friends like Xavier and the rest of my buddies from Team Poison mentioned that that it is something a little bit reasonable and the fact that we have a modern take on the 1986 crew I think that it is worth the price so uh, final verdict I will definitely give this a 9 out of 10 um, it it has its flaws it's not a perfect toy but definitely a satisfactory product and a figure that you really need if you are a Rodimus fan like me or if you really want to rebuild the 90 the 1986 crew so if you have the chance to get him at a cheaper price which i did by the way so the the thing here is that i got this for four thousand five hundred and special shout out to bong Blazon. you are the man bong and thank you for giving me the chance to get this um really awesome deal so 
very happy, very thankful that I got this. I was scouring through the uh, internet and, and I saw him selling this and I said, okay, that's a steal. I'm going to grip that right away. So I got it and here I am. So this is a fantastic, super fantastic, uh, fantastic thing that I was able to snag. Um, so this is pretty much going to be my stand-in Rodimus that I'll be using um, for a while unless they come up with another new one which is going to be an improvement but till then this is going to be it so thank you very much again for watching ladies and gentlemen I hope that you enjoyed this review this is just the two cents and the ramblings of a Rodimus Prime fan um, I, I know that you've seen a lot of different other videos out there from the bigger channels and and they're pretty cool and kudos to them too but that's my take on that and I hope you appreciate it and if you do appreciate it don't forget to click on that like button hit that subscribe button click on that bell notification and subscribe to the channel let's keep, let's keep this channel alive so thank you very much ladies and gentlemen and remember to all our one peace out Rock and roll.